Wait, 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 YouTube moderators, before you strike down this video, demonetize me and give me an age restriction, check the date that this video was uploaded. If it doesn't say April 1st, then, well, I ran into rendering issues. It should have been uploaded on April 1st. Hopefully it says April 1st, or this is going to be a very awkward video, isn't it? A Sector Killer Attractiveness Tier List. Yeah, you read the title. Actually, to be honest, knowing YouTubers, the title was likely very misleading, so maybe you didn't know what the video was going to be about, huh? Anyway, for all of you OG Ashcat fangirls out there, this video idea was originally a simple one-off joke that I made all the way back in June of 2022. But before we get into the tier list, what are we going to be ranking these killers off of anyway? Speed? Damage? Attractiveness? Maybe we'll save the last one for a future video. Yeah, look at my hair and my broom. You see, back then I didn't have a boyfriend slash girlfriend to keep me sane during these horrible Sanctic Challenge videos, so I was quite the mess. Oh wait, that part never changed. Well, I guess that's why we're creating this tier list to begin with, eh? Before you ask, no, this is not smash or pass. I think categorizing characters, even if they're fictional in that way, is incredibly disrespectful. And definitely is not because I would get my channel banned instantly if I uploaded a video like that. Remember, this game is made for children. No, I'm going to be ranking these killers based on how much I would take them on a date. Respectfully. No funny business, no sussy stuff, just a nice date. You know, the thing that gamers like us would never do in a million years. Relationships may be temporary, but the sector grind never ends. Just so you all know, this video is entirely satire, and I will not be held accountable for anything I say towards these fictional characters. What, you actually think I simp for Lego people? Well, that's what we're gonna find out, isn't it? I'm sure you guys all know how a tier list works. You know, S tier means smash tier, I mean best, and F tier means the bottom of the barrel filth. Like Chucky. Anyway, I guess we'll start by ranking these guys in alphabetical order, beginning with Alien. I mean, he's a strong killer, probably the best in the entire game right now, but in terms of attractiveness, the only scenario that I could see myself dating Alien in is to get the world record for being the first human to form a relationship with a guy from a different planet, before quickly dumping Alien and leaving him on the street in the rain while I go off to make tons of money for simply being an influencer online and giving my unimportant opinion about political issues all day. Yep, that sounds like a healthy relationship if I've ever heard one. I think I'll give Alien a C tier. The opportunity to be in the Guinness Book of World Records is definitely present there, however Alien by himself is just kind of, look, I don't want to say ugly, but humans, I think, generally look more attractive. Please, I'm not racist against aliens, I swear. Comments that will surely get me cancelled in five years time aside, next up on the list is Aberration. Uh oh. Yep, that's right, this is the poster waifu of Sactic, and a character that a lot of people within the community, um, maybe like a bit too much. And, you know, I have said in past videos that I kind of despise people like that, or the people who simp for aberration. But, um, for this tier list, might have to break character a bit here. The main gripe I have behind aberration is that I've said in the past that she's like 40 to 50 years old or something. Apparently, look, I actually don't know. I recall one of the Sanctic developers DMing me about that. However, I've looked and can't find the original message. But, like, here's the thing. Would you rather date a rotting zombie corpse on the brink of exploding? Yeah, we'll get to you in a minute. Or date a middle-aged, half-corrupted woman who throws balls at you? Listen, okay, what I'm saying is, is that Sanctic doesn't have many attractive killers. There's supposed to be scary. I mean, scary might be pushing it a bit. We need more hot characters in this game, okay? It would generate way more money. I think I'll give her like a B tier or something. Dating her would be a solid maybe, but I'm gonna need some age verification first because unlike some Roblox YouTubers out there, I only date people my own age. The next killer on our list is Captain Zombie. Now, like I just hinted at, yeah, this guy is very ugly and way, way too old for anyone who isn't a skeleton. 16th century? This guy is like 500 years old then. Yeah. No, thank you. However, and the big notable however for this killer is the Captain Zombie has the ability to summon two artificial zombie minions who, in terms of appearance, look miles better than Captain Zombie. See? No decomposing body parts in sight. If they weren't constantly punching me to death in juggernaut mode and under the right circumstances, I feel like the zombies in Sector could give good hugs. You know, just wholesome zombie hugs. A hug's nice. 
I mean, I wouldn't know. I've never been hugged in my entire life. We can really knock out two Wendigos with one ray gun here. I think I'll put Captain Zombie in E tier and regular Zombie in A tier. Wow, our first honest to god killer that somewhat meets my strict relationship standards. Nice. Next up is Chucky, and I think we all know where this little rascal is going on this tier list. Straight into F tier. No, I don't even see us being friends, or even co-workers at your local McDonald's for that matter. Chucky is a stain on this earth, and I want nothing to do with this waste of existence, even though I know in like five years time, some weirdo out there is gonna write some obscure Wattpad fanfic about me and him. Scary stuff. However, our next killer, Eyeless Jack, is on the complete opposite spectrum from Chucky. No, he's going straight into S. I mean, what's not to like? He's a depressed emo boy. Everyone likes depressed emo boys. He's 19, apparently, which is close to my age. Thank God it's legal. Plus, he can dash pretty fast. Yeah, that last point doesn't really mean anything here. I just ran out of compliments. Once again, I'm really scraping the bottom of the bow to find any redeeming qualities in any of these kills. I mean, let's be honest, the killers in this game aren't really nice people. I mean, they constantly just beat you to death the entire time and really show no remorse. I mean, some people might like that, but for me... Not really, so we're gonna be going off of looks and looks alone. Anyway, next up is no, no. Fishface is indeed my creation, but I did not create him for being hot. I don't know, maybe you find him attractive. There are some odd people out there on the World Wide Web. He's going straight into F tier for me though. That's just friggin' weird. But you know who isn't going in F tier? Freddy Krueger. Ah! Freddy Krueger. He's not going in F tier, but he's still getting a D in my opinion. I mean, look at that face. What's that? Fifth degree burns? Yeah, no thank you. You should really put some cream on that, buddy. It might sting a bit. Ghostface, on the other hand, well, I don't even know what his face looks like because he wears a mask everywhere he goes. Or she? Oh dear god, we've already run into another problem. Not that I discriminate on genders. Now I know what you're thinking. Ash, doesn't Ghostface, you know, take off the mask in the movies? And yeah, you're quite right about that. But then we run into the issue of who, because there are actually multiple people who wear the Ghostface cosplay, you know, in the movies. Yeah, it's not actually just one guy. For this reason, I think I'm gonna put Ghostface in B tier. We could spend all day going through each of the antagonists in the Scream movies, yeah, but I actually want to get onto the spicy killers of this list. Granny, however, is not one of those. I mean, she's just too friggin' old. Not as ancient as Captain Zombie, yeah, but still old enough that her pupils are no longer visible anymore. Get back to the hospital bed, your heart is gonna flatline! I mean, it probably stopped beating ages ago, but still. Yeah, Granny is getting an E tier. What did you expect? Oh, hey, check it out. I am just now realizing that I totally forgot to add a very important killer to the tier list. The evil lawnmower. Before one of you writes a comment, yes, this is a valid killer on the tier list. Or at least I'm counting it. I mean, it's already on the tier list. It's, it's too friggin' late now. Whoops. You see, the evil lawnmower is not your average run-of-the-mill murderous bloodthirsty normal Air 51 movie serial killer. Nope, it only spawns when you get one of three special nightmares given to you by overcooked pancake face over here. Even though the evil lawnmower doesn't do that much damage in game, just think of the possibilities of owning something like this in real life. Your hair needs being cut? Evil lawnmower. Want to show off the latest tech at the middle school's popular kids' lunch table? Evil lawnmower. Someone online disagree with you on where you placed aberration on the Sacta killer attractiveness tier list? Beat them to death. Yeah, you don't need the evil lawnmower in this situation. Plus, just look at those teeth and those eyes. Oh my god, he's perfect. Definitely S tier for the evil lawnmower. No questions asked. This isn't even a joke. He's actually really useful. Listen, okay, I've had this video idea in my mind for a while now. And, you know, I just wanted to add one or two meme killers onto this tier list to kind of throw people off so that, you know, they didn't think I was serious about all of the other entries. Which I'm totally not, by the way. I don't find LEGO characters attractive. I, I promise. Back to reality, however, next up we have Jack Torrance. And I'm gonna be honest, he might actually have a chance on the tier list if his hairline wasn't so awful. I mean, look at him. He's balding a bit. Either grow it out or shave it all off. Yeah, that's right. I actually don't mind bald men. But Jack Torrance trying to do both over here? I don't know. It just doesn't work in my opinion. Remember, kids, looks matter. And no, I don't care if he has a big... Axe. He, he wields an axe, yeah. Hair is very important. You have to keep it clean and under control. I think I'll still give him a B tier so the Jack Torrance stands don't get mad at me. I think we can all agree though that if he had a better hairline, he would be higher up on the list. 
I'm sorry, that's really my only complaint. Next up on the list is Jane and Jeff the Killer. Yeah, we're gonna be bunging both of these guys into the same tier. Now, don't get me wrong, I really like emo goth men and women. I mean, if it wasn't for them constantly being on Twitter 24-7 and being depressed all of the time, they would be perfect. No, that's not the reason why I'm putting them both in F tier. Yeah, F tier. Why, may you ask? Because they're both like 13. Yeah, bet you didn't know that. Hey man, I, I put them in F tier, oh, please, uh, don't, don't hurt my family, please. Moving past that catastrophe, next up we have Freddy Fazbear. What? Freddy Fazbear? What? How is he on my tier list? What's going on? But he's here now and that's all that matters, I guess. I think I'll put him in D tier though. I mean, he is just an animatronic possessed by a ghostly child. Ch child? Oh, frick, my mistake, he's going in F tier. Ah, whoops, my bad, FBI, pl please don't arrest me. I, I forgot, okay, please. Hey look, here's a killer that's actually in sector. Jason Voorhees. Once again, like Ghostface, this is another case of a killer with a mask obscuring their true, beautiful, uncensored appearance. I looked up Jason without a mask and I never want to see again. I I think I'm blind. Oh god, my vision. Oh my god, it's gone. Um, I'm gonna try and leave now. I'm just gonna go out the door and just... Ow! Uh, I mean, if he keeps the mask on, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, just never take it off ever. Listen, I'm an honest partner, okay? If you wake up one morning and decide that your boyfriend slash girlfriend is ugly, you have to say it to their face. Honesty is always the best policy. Why am I single again? For this reason, I think we'll put Jason in B tier. Similarly to Jack Torrance, there's really only one aspect that's keeping him away from the higher ranks. But B tier... I'm happy with Vita. Next up, we have Mark from the Roblox game Regretivator. What? what? What's she doing here? I'm sorry, but what's with these random characters inserting themselves into my set of tier list? Like, what's even going on anymore? Anyway, yeah, Mark, if you didn't know, is like this character from this Roblox game called Regretivator. She's like a woman that wields a hammer dressed in a suit with a top hat. And here's a fun fact about me that you definitely did not know before watching this video. I happen to love women that wield a hammer and dress in a suit with a top Top hat. Yeah, I know that's very specific, but th that's what I want. Plus, she's like super tall and stuff. And I gotta tell you, I love a woman that can stomp on my S2. We're gonna put her in S2. Apologies for that, got a bit too excited there. We're almost got demonetized. Next up on the tier list, however, is Leatherface. Ew. Yeah, no, straight into E tier. Not even gonna talk about this guy, ugliest killer in the entire game. Michael Myers, on the other hand, just look at that jawline. This is peak masculinity. I mean, I guess he is wearing a mask like Jason or Ghostface over here, but boy howdy, I've learned to not look up killers without masks online. It never ends well. Plus, Michael Myers happens to be a good dancer. I mean, check out those moves. Attending those ballerina classes must have really paid off for him. He's getting an A tier for me. Coming up next is Minecraft Steve. What? Okay, actually, Minecraft Steve looks pretty good, actually. Better than most of the killers on this tier list, let's be honest. I think I'll give him an A tier, though. When he's not dying of hunger, he's actually pretty strong. As we've seen throughout this tier list, I do actually like strong men. I mean, who doesn't, let's be real. Next up on the list, however, is Raiden Shogun from Genshin Impact. No, I promise this video is not sponsored by Genshin Impact. I mean, what do I look like, a sellout? Yeah, that's precisely what I look like, but no, 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 this video is not sponsored by Genshin Impact. I mean, they could totally sponsor me if they wanted to for like a thousand freedom dollars or something, but I'm not popular enough for that, so... Um, I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe. Now look, come on, Raiden Shogun may be around 3,000 years old, but being elderly is of no concern when you look like this. I actually haven't played the game for longer than 50 minutes. Don't ask me how I know this character so well. Yep, she's getting an S tier in my book. Who could have guessed? Okay, okay, I'll stop memeing around. We'll get back to ranking actual Sancta killers. The next one being Slenderman. And I gotta say, Slender just has a bit of everything, you know? He's tall, he only wears black and white, so, you know, he kind of falls into that emo category style, I don't know. Plus, he can give you nice hugs if you ask him not. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, the hug can definitely kill you, but I think it's still worth it. S tier for Slenderman. You really can't go wrong with him in my eyes. Even though Slender has no eyes, but we're gonna ignore that. Next up is Smile Dog, and I don't know if you know this, but I'm not a furry. So he's going straight into F tier for me. Sorry, I'm just not into animals. Next up on the tier list is Willow Wolf from Roblox Piggy. And she's going straight into S tier. No questions asked. I mean, come on, she's a strong, independent woman. What's not to love? Huh? What's that? She's an animal? No, 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 no. You see, she's an anthropomorphic animal. Because that makes all the difference, doesn't it?
I don't know how these non-sector characters are getting into my tier list, but next up we have my Roblox avatar OC named Dallas. Oh dear lord, why are you making me do this? Listen, okay, there are some down bad people that I've seen in my comment section. Guys, trust me, there are better fictional characters out there than Alice. I mean, look at my tier list so far. Look at the variety. Alice only exists for thumbnail material and thumbnail material alone. That's it. You see, this is how I get people to click on my videos. They think they're about to watch some attractive blonde haired woman play a game, but what they're actually watching is some emo wannabe 17 year old lonely idiot playing Roblox. See, that's how I do it. I'm a genius. I look forward to the time when I blow up on YouTube and Twitter artists start making, um, uh, fan art of her. And by fan art, I don't mean cute stuff like Alice attending a wedding with adoration. Oh no 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 no. Just saying I won't be able to stop them, and that's what keeps me up at night. Anyway, yeah, I'm lying through my teeth. Alice gets a nest here. Deep down, I want her to break my spine. Respectfully. I mean, can you blame me? I literally had to add characters from other games into this tier list because the Sanctic Killers are so ugly. You know, I could go on for another 15 minutes ranking the rest of the Sanctic Killers, but I'm gonna kind of like not do that. I I'm just gonna friggin' end the video here and cry in a corner because I'm so lonely and don't do anything about it, so I'll see you guys next April Fools when I make an update to this video. Ow!